Hey guys, this is an HP NV6555 ePrinter and today we're connecting it to a device. I'm going to use a smartphone to connect it to and show you how to do that. Same will go for a tablet or a PC. And uh, this same process will apply to HP NV6100 E series. We need to go ahead and download the HP app. And this is what it looks like. It's an HP smart app. Go ahead and open the app. Go ahead and turn on notifications if you want those. And here are the terms. We're going to hit set up a new printer. It's going to ask you to make an account, but you don't have to make that. You can just skip it or go back. And we're going to connect it with the Wi-Fi. So select this option and then press continue. Now go to the printer screen, select menu, go down to settings, and select network, select Wi-Fi, you can turn it on right here, and then you can press start Wi-Fi setup. It's searching for a router. This is what it found for me. I'm gonna select my home router and then press next to enter your password. When you press this here, it'll pop up the keyboard. So that way you can easily put in your password. Go ahead and do that. You can confirm that you put in the correct password by pressing this I icon right here. And if it is, then just go ahead and press Submit. Press OK to start connecting. OK, now it shows that the connection is successful. You can print report if you want, or you can just press OK. So now we're connected to the router. We can go back to the app. Make sure your phone or device Wi-Fi is on and connected to the same network as the printer. And then it's going to search for the printer, and it looks like it found it. It's HP NV6500 E-Series. We're going to go ahead and select that one. Okay. So it basically connected it almost right away. Um, right here, it says Finish Setup. That basically is going to take us to uh, go through like instant ink offers and stuff like that. For example, this is like printing services. I don't want it, so I'm just going to decline. But you can also press manage options, and you can go through it all right here. Advertising off, printer analytics off, uh, personal suggestions, and stuff like that. So um, I'm just going to decline optional data. Then enter your printer pin. There's a label on the back of the printer, and it will have your pin there. So put that in right here, then hit submit. That pin is eight digits. It's asking to do the a activate HP plus. And in my case, I don't want to be connected to HP plus. So I'm going to press do not activate. If you want to continue with it, you can uh, activate the HP plus. That gives you some um, convenience of mobile scanning, file sharing, and things like that. But I use other apps for that. So I'm just going to select Do Not Accept HP+, Decline HP+, and uh, Continue. So it's really trying to sell you this. And I'm going to skip account activation because I don't want to activate an HP account. That's for warranty and also ability to be enrolled in HP instant ink so if you're trying to get a hp instant ink subscription you definitely would want to connect to hp plus um, then it's offering me another option to uh, opt in for it i'm gonna just uncheck the remind in two weeks because i don't want to be reminded i do not want the hp instant ink and i'm going to select do not enable ink delivery skip offer See, they're really trying to push it. So uh, that's something that I really don't like. But I do like this printer. 
it works very well. It has a pretty cool appearance. Um, so we have paper loaded in the printer at this point. This is the tray. Make sure your printer has paper in there as well. And we're going to continue with the setup. Then the firmware updates. You can opt in to auto update or notify when available and then have you select the time that you want to do update or if you, you know, don't want to do it at all. So I'm going to do notify when available. Those are the two only options available there. Okay, so we're all ready to print. And uh, this is like a test page that you can print. I'm going to go ahead and print it, but you can skip if you don't want to waste paper. Um, so I'll show you what it looks like. We're going to go ahead and see it. It gives you all the options right here that you can change. We're going to go ahead and print it. And now it's kind of trying to do the HP uh, Plus kind of uh, offer again. So I'm going to do not right now and I'm all done. So here it shows the ink levels. There are two cartridges, one colored cartridge with three colors in it and one black cartridge. The check mark over here indicates that everything is in good working order and the printer is ready to use. You can explore this app a little more. It's pretty cool how it's uh, you know laid out and you can print photos, documents off your phone, uh, make copies right here, even though you have the screen to do that option. So check out this page. This is a test page that it just printed out. All colors seem to be there and printer is ready to go. So thank you so much for watching. I hope this was helpful for you. Um, you can always set up the uh, HP account and sign in, but you don't have to. If you just uh, follow, you know, skip some of the things and you can use your printer without setting up any account. Um, so good luck with your printer. I hope it works very well for you. Please don't forget to like, subscribe to my channel, and have yourself a great day.